Reckless driving impacts families all over the country, but specifically in the Milwaukee area, Milwaukee police have issued roughly 12,000 traffic citations this year, according to their traffic safety unit. Out of these citations, more than 6,000 are for speeding and more than 2,000 for violations with a driver's license. Now a group is dedicating a theatrical play to show the impacts of reckless driving to teens and adults. I'm here with Monty Mabra and Netta Williams from the stage play The Kia Boys. Thank you both for being with us this morning. We appreciate it. Can you explain to us the significance of this story? It's called The Kia Boys, which a lot of people I'm sure have heard that buzzword for a while. Yeah, well, we put a spin on the uh, Kia. It's actually karma and action uh, because we want to show the impact that uh, the reckless driving, the car thefts, the violence have on both sides. Uh, and we created a play that will give a person a chance to be on the outside looking in. Uh, some people get the message more clear that way. Yeah, so you talked a bit about what you're hoping people will understand from it. What exactly is the play about? What can they expect? Well, in the play, there's three, well, there's six juveniles, and they do car thefts. Uh, one uh, takes the police on a high-speed chase, which caused Netta to lose her grandbaby and her daughter. Uh, and the fiancé, Alex, is, well, his name is Marvin in the play. Uh, he sets out to get revenge. Uh, he kills one, and he paralyzes the other. But no one wants to see a child get killed mm -hmm. or paralyzed, and no one wants to see an innocent mother and child lose their life in a car accident. So it's an audience divided, because some believe that, hey, they get what they got coming to them, and then some say, hey, they were just kids that, you know, will be in kids. But yeah. at the same token, mm -hmm. you have an audience divided. Yeah, what has it been like to perform in something like this that is it's obviously a play, but a lot of it could be based on real life. It actually hits close to home because I have a daughter that's the same age as the character that I lost, and she's also expecting. And so to bring out that emotion mm -hmm. instantly, it's like, what if this was, was me, you know? And it, it pulls from you. It does. Yeah, and um, what can people know about the details? How can they see the show? When are you guys going to be performing? Well, our first show is tomorrow uh, at 6 p.m. and again Saturday at 6 p.m. and Sunday at 6 <laughs> p.m. Uh, at the King Center, 1531 West Valite, uh, the Martin Luther King Jr. Center located on Valite. Uh, and they can simply call 414-306-2107 for tickets. Uh, and they have group specials. So if you bring in children or mm -hmm. teens, uh, the tickets are cut in half. So yeah. we, it's a message that we really want to get out to the community uh, because it's affecting a lot of families. What's the community reaction been? Have you performed for anybody yet? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. it was awesome because the reactions were kind of what we were hoping for, where the audience were kind of like, yelling stuff out almost like uh-uh that ain't right like yeah. they had opinions and they were opinionated during the play so they're almost like characters within mm -hmm. the play whether they know it or not so. all right well thank you both for joining us this morning to discuss this the play at is at the milwaukee dr martin luther king community center tomorrow until christmas eve doors open at six in the evening and the play starts at six thirty sharp tickets will be sold at the door